Today we're <coughs> celebrating Lass being given the Impact Award for 2013, which means that we're in the top 10 health charities of the UK. Evanice, tell us how the award ceremony went. The award ceremony was just amazing. It was an eye-opener, really. And to be chosen as one of the top 10 health charities in the whole of the United Kingdom. And uh, I know four, about 420 charities entered and we were in the top 10 of that. It was a very humbling uh, affirmation of what LAS stands for. LAS uh, being, let's say, aid support services and the work that we do to help the community, especially HIV positive people in their families. So that the night of the award was just amazing because we were in London and um, at the Museum of Natural of Science. Science and uh, all the charities were there and uh, each charity had uh, a film which they had done before and these were shown and after uh, each film was shown for at least two charities then the people would go up from the charities to give a one minute or two minute speech about how they felt and what their charity stands for. Um, I was given the opportunity to stand up and say something for us. I went up with Jenny and uh, we talked about the work class does. We were very well received in London. I felt very emotional afterwards because the uh, encouragement was just so great. And as well as getting the award, we also have £30,000, which is very yes, significant, we, isn't it, for LAS? And the, for the money is work. great for training programs. For all, it will help with the projects that we've always wanted to do, mm. which we didn't have money to, to do those projects. And with the cuts which have affected us, even as a charity, I think that money really came at the right time. So we can continue to support HIV positive people and their families. And the award will be sitting in reception as a reminder of that affirmation. And uh, like I said on that day in the speech, getting this impact award actually pushes us at last uh, staff, workers, volunteers, and uh, Board of Trustees to work harder because if we've been given an award for being one of the best run young charities, it means we've only got to up our game, we can't go back. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So um, the award is not the end of a long process, it's actually the beginning of new work really, isn't it? Yes, because uh, last aims to empower HIV positive people and their families so that they can stand up and have a life, a life that's as near normal as possible, break down the barriers of stigmatization and barriers of, um, I think, low self-esteem due to the stigma around HIV and last aims to uh, help HIV positive people, these are most of the programs that we have, to say, of course I am HIV positive, but I'm still a person, I can still have a full life, I can still uh, realize some of my ambitions and be successful. And uh, this money actually will help us and the award will help us to say, look, we were assessed, we were really assessed that we are doing things in the right form manner. So we will continue to encourage HIV positive people to stand up, be confident and be whoever they want to have. Like someone said in the film, they said, oh, last has helped me to get my life back. Mm. And the other thing we do is to provide community HIV testing because of course we need to make sure that people know their HIV status yes. and we work with communities to raise discussions about HIV to try and normalise HIV because if we can't find people's diagnosis or people don't know their diagnosis, they don't know 
that there's help there for them. And there's medical help and also social help. And I think also getting this award will help us in our awareness campaigns. Yeah. Because now we can um, talk to our local MP, talk to health structures, even uh, we can have our local MP uh, talk to parliament for us to say we want more awareness so that people in the UK get to be aware that you can be tested yeah. in a minute. You yeah. get your, 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 your results there and then. This is the only way when we can help reduce the spread of HIV. Because the more people know and they've been tested, the better they will be aware to look after themselves and to practice safe health uh, practices. Mm -hmm. It's a, for me, I've realized that in the UK, the awareness campaign came and sort of went and died down. Mm -hmm. But HIV is still there, it, it, it's still continuing. And I think awareness will help us maybe to get to a place whereby we have the younger generation coming up and the number of HIV cases will be reduced.